and DevOps is simple and easy. Oh, come on, man. Are you serious? DevOps is tough, man. Well, you need to know a couple of tools to get started. So what tools should I start from? Just hit me with that, man. In the beginning, you need to learn Linux. For automation, you need to learn Jenkins and a single cloud platform like AWS and infrastructure as code tool like Terraform. Oh man, you solved all my problems, man, about DevOps. I'll stick with you. Thank you so much, boy. I'll watch this video. No worries, man. I'll teach all of it. All right, guys, you don't have to worry after watching this conversation. DevOps is simple and easy. And if you are passionate about learning DevOps, I'll specify a roadmap so that you can get started as quickly as possible. What is DevOps? Why do we need to learn DevOps? Way or roadmap to become a DevOps engineer? What are the core responsibilities of a DevOps engineer? What tools DevOps engineers use? So these five W's we will discuss in this video. Let's get started. You can see that DevOps is a combination of two terms. One is Dev, the other is Ops. So Dev stands for development, Ops stands for operation. So development and operations are combined to create DevOps. Interesting, right? Therefore, the simple definition of DevOps is DevOps combines development and operations to increase the efficiency, speed, and security of software development and delivery compared to traditional processes. In other definition, DevOps is an approach to build and deliver computer software in which everyone works together. The last part is more interesting that everyone works together, which means that DevOps engineer is the key person which collaborates with another teams like QA, developers, software engineers. Whether the team is a software engineering team or development team or QA team, they have to contact with the DevOps engineer to make their applications run smoothly. So I think that without DevOps, there is no operations and there are no businesses. DevOps is the key requirement for any companies. No DevOps means no business and no company. I hope that you guys have gone through this picture a lot. Whenever you search for DevOps, you will definitely see this picture. And basically, it defines the DevOps mindset. What is DevOps? How it works? So it's a continuous, never ending loop. And there are two portions, like I said earlier, which is Dev and Ops. So in dev, there is code planning, code building, and code testing. That role is played by the developers as well as with the combination and collaboration of a DevOps engineer. And then that code is released to be deployed on any deployment platform with any deployment or CACD tool. So you can see that uh, when the code is build it is released to be deployed and once it is deployed successfully it is operated and monitored by the devops engineer so it's a continuous never ending loop interestingly i have asked chat gpt to define devops what is devops according to the chat gpt let's see it the chat gpt also stated the same definition that I have discussed with you earlier that DevOps, a combination of development and operations is a software development approach that emphasizes collaboration, communication and integration between software developers and IT operations professionals. It aims to automate the process of software delivery and infrastructure changes by fostering a culture and environment where building, testing, and releasing software can happen rapidly, frequently, and more reliably. So what did we learn from DevOps definition that DevOps speed ups the delivery of software? Why do we need DevOps? And the answer is the same, to deliver software quickly and frequently 
and also DevOps speed up your development pipeline. And in case of any failures, we can roll back easily and swiftly adjust to the changes. And also DevOps helps us to monitor our application's performance. You guys are going to become the future DevOps engineers. So you must know that what would be your core responsibilities being a DevOps engineer in any corporate organization. There are a lot of responsibilities on a DevOps engineer, but I would highlight here four of the most important responsibilities that a DevOps engineer must know and must adopt. The first one is to automate the infrastructure. Being a DevOps engineer, you would be responsible to automate any company's infrastructure. The second one is configuration management. When you would be applying to various DevOps jobs, you would be asked about configuration management. But don't worry, it's a full chapter and we will cover it in detail. The third one is monitoring your infrastructure and watching all the logs of your critical applications with monitoring and logging solutions. And the fourth and the most important DevOps responsibility is to secure your infrastructure, your applications, to protect your infrastructure from any malicious attacks. Each responsibility comes with a different tool. So it means that for such kind of major responsibilities, you have to learn DevOps tools. All right, guys, this is one of the most important questions asked from the DevOps engineers that how can we follow a path to become a DevOps engineer? What is the roadmap to be a DevOps engineer? So in order to become a DevOps engineer, it involves gaining a combination of technical skills, practical experience, and understanding of DevOps principles and practices. Overall, I have divided the roadmap into operations 70%, automation 20%, and development 10%. So you must know the tools related to each one of them, like operations, you must know Linux. For automation, you must know any CICD tools like Jenkins. And for development, you must know a single development language. The list of DevOps tools is overwhelming. There are a lot of DevOps tools in the market right now, and it becomes overwhelming to know and learn which tool would be the best to get started. But guys, I have listed some of the major DevOps tools that you should know to start your DevOps career. Linux, Bash, Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins, cloud platforms like AWS, GCP, and Azure. But at least you should know one platform and I would recommend AWS, ELK, and for monitoring, it is Datadog and Prometheus. Linux operating system is a core tool which you should know to become a DevOps engineer. That's why we will start from learning basics of Linux. The mostly used distribution of Linux is Ubuntu, and that's why I would recommend you to install Ubuntu on your systems. All right, guys, I hope now you know what is DevOps. I have tried to make this lecture short, sweet, and to the point. And in the next video, we will discuss and study a couple of major DevOps tools and what they are needed for. So I would like to request you to please subscribe my channel and if you like this video, please share it in your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next.